All right, hi everybody. Uh, so uh, this was the problem that was requested was chapter nine, uh, problem 37, one with the bullet in the box. Um, basically, this is a lot of practice in object and system switching. So uh, that's why I signed it and here we go. So it says the figure below shows a bullet of mass 200 grams traveling horizontally towards the east with a speed of 400 meters per second. Uh, which strikes a block of 1.5 kilograms that is initially at rest on a, rest on a frictionless table. Awesome. Uh, and then it says, after striking the block, the bullet is embedded in the block, and the block and the bullet move together as one unit. So that's a perfectly inelastic collision. And it asks us for all this kind of stuff here. Uh, basically, what's the velocity of the bullet block combination immediately after the impact? Uh, what's the magnitude and direction of the impulse by the uh, block on the bullet? What's the magnitude and direction of the impulse on the bullet by the, uh, from the bullet on the block? And then lastly, if it took three milliseconds uh, <clears throat> for the bullet to change the speed from 400 meters per second, uh, to the final speed after the uh, final speed after the impact. What is the average force between the block and the bullet during this time? All right. So uh, basically, what I did is, well, as you'd like to draw a diagram of the initial situation and the final situation. I'm going to call the bullet M1 and the box M2. Uh, so the box has a speed V2, which is zero, and then the bullet has a speed V1 or velocity V1. So it's 400 meters per second to the right. I got my little bank right here of everything I know and don't know. I'm looking for V prime, which this is it afterward. The bullet and the box uh, are embedded. Uh, the bullet is embedded inside the box and they move as one unit. So they're moving with one speed V prime. Uh, basically, best way I can solve this thing is to call the whole thing my system and then I can use conservation of momentum. So the sum of my initial momentum it's going to equal the sum of my final momentum. Uh, so I got two objects here. So it's M1 V1 prime. Oh, sorry. M1 V1 plus M2 V2 equals. And then because it's a perfectly inelastic collision, I can combine these masses M1 M2. Uh, and then V prime. I'm just going to call it V prime because they're both moving at the same velocity. Uh, and then I can solve for V prime. So isolating V prime, just going to divide both sides. Well, first off, V2 is zero. So this momentum is zero. That means I'm going to divide everything by M1 plus M2. And that's going to give me M1 V1, taking away the vector arrows over M2, well, M1 plus M2 equals V prime. So I'll plug in M1 is 0.2. The bullet was going 400 meters per second divided by M1 plus M2. That's going to be 0 0.2 plus 1.5. And this will give me a final speed or velocity of, uh, let's see, 400 times 0.2 divided by 1.5 plus 0.2, 47 meters per second. So it's going to be 47 meters per second. And it is positive that it gives me, which is good, because that matches my prediction that the velocity is going to be going to the right. Uh, if it didn't match my prediction, it would give me a negative value, and that would be that. So, all right, there's my first answer right there. Uh, and that's with calling the whole thing the system. Now, they ask me, uh, what is the magnitude and direction of the impulse by the block on the bullet? So, in this case, I'm actually going to make now my bullet my object. That's going to be the thing I care about. And now that means that the box is going to exert a force or an impulse of force over uh, a force throughout some duration of time. And that's going to give me my impulse. And the impulse uh, uh, by any external force is going to change the momentum of my object. I just made my object the bullet. So the impulse will change the momentum of my bullet. All right. Here we go. So the impulse of the block, well, that's going to be, um, so uh, yeah, I, I could use, you know, F net 
delta t, but I don't know f net, so that's not going to help me, which is why I need this impulse momentum relationship. So I do know the change in momentum of my bullet, because the change in momentum will be the mass of my bullet times the change in velocity. So that's the final velocity of my vol bullet, v prime minus v1, right? Because v1 was the initial velocity of my bullet. All right, so that's going to be uh, the impulse that the block does on the bullet is the mass of the bullet, 0 0.2 uh, kilograms, multiplied by V prime, which is 47, minus the initial velocity of the bullet, which is 400. That gives me the impulse from the block is going to be 47 minus 400 times 0.2 negative 70.6 Newton seconds Newton seconds impulse is measured in Newton seconds uh, some of you had issues with that in homework 9c but anyway uh, so yes in negative that's good that makes sense because the block would be exerting a force to the left uh, on the bullet so that's why it's negative awesome and that's the impulse right there so next up, then it asks me, all right, what is the magnitude and direction of the impulse from the bullet on the block? So this is the opposite of what we did before. What, how, what is the impulse the bullet does to the block? Well, uh, in this case, I would make the block now my object. So everything except the bullet. Uh, the block is now my object. Uh, and, and in this case, well, impulse is force, so impulse is force multiplied by delta t uh, uh, over some duration of time. And the block is going to interact with the bullet for the same amount of time that the bullet interacts with the block. And it's going to create the exact same force. This is a third law pair. We got two objects, the bullet and the block. The force the block exerts on the bullet is going to be equal in magnitude and opposite in direction the force that the bullet does to the block. So in other words, the impulse is going to be exactly the same, just in different directions. That's using the third law, basically. Uh, okay, let's see what that looks like. So that's just going to be then, uh, so again, the impulse is the same magnitude for both objects, just in opposite directions. So that means the impulse from the bullet is going to be positive 70.6 newton seconds and that's that one all right the last part then says if it took three milliseconds for the bullet to change speed from 400 meters per second to the final speed after impact what is the average force between the block and the bullet during this time uh all right in this case I am going to use, let's see, I'll use this because this is the, what is the impulse, what is the average force between the block and the bullet during this time? So um, I could really use any one of these. Uh, and I guess I'll just use this one because it's asking just for magnitude. Yeah, what's the average force between the block and the bullet? So it's just kind of asking us magnitude-wise, what is this? Um, so, let, well, let's just use this one. It, it doesn't really matter. Uh, so, okay, an impulse from the bullet, and that's the interaction between the bullet and the block, is going to equal, that's this part right here. It's going to go right here. So that's F net delta T. Uh, and F net's what I'm looking for, so I'm going to divide both sides by delta T. So it's going to give me the impulse of the bullet over my change in time is equal to the net force exerted on both the bullet and the block. Uh, uh, in this case, it would be the uh, uh, net force by the bullet because that's what I'm uh, taking it from, from part C. So that's going to be the impulse from the bullet is 60.7, oops, sorry, is 70.6 newton seconds divided by... Uh, so three milliseconds is 0 0.003 seconds. So it's gonna be 0 0.003 seconds. So it's Newton seconds divided by seconds 
seconds cancel out, and I get a net force of, and that's the magnitude of my net force I'm going to take because it's all I care about. From the question they asked me, 70.6 divided by 0 0.003 is uh, 2.4 times 10 to the 1, 2, 3, 4 times 10 to the 4 uh, newtons. So that's 2.4, or uh, yeah, 2.4 times 10 to the 4 newtons, and there we go. Uh, so yeah, the, the net force, uh, the average net force was 2.4 times 10 to the 4 newtons, which means 2.4 times 10 to the 4 newtons uh, uh, that the bullet exerts on the block, but it's also 2.4 times 10 to the 4 newtons that the block exerts on the bullet. Uh, these are force pairs, that's why, and they interact for the same duration of time. So hopefully that helped, uh, and I'll see you guys later. See you guys tomorrow. All right.